What's up, my babies? Happy Thursday, everybody. Yes, I'm sitting in my pajamas. Yes, I look a hot mess. I got my Carol Baskin pajamas on. You hear me? Yes, I do. I hope you're getting up, getting out, and getting into something. I hope so. Well, as for myself, <laughs> oh, girl, Tad. I don't know if it's this gloomy weather here in Michigan. It's chilly. It's gloomy. It's raining on and off. My body hurt. I'm just a little tired. I feel exhausted. So I'm actually in the kitchen. I want something to eat, but I don't want nothing usual. You know what I mean? So what I'm making me is I'm making some homemade Chinese food. So... What they say is, you were supposed to have day-old rice, but I don't have day-old rice. I just made it, and I'm going to let it sit in a refrigerator for about an hour. I cut up some bell, some um, some um, onions, some broccoli, and some carrots. And I didn't have anything else. And I used me some Loris seasoning salt, some uh, soy sauce, some garlic powder, and a little cilantro. I like cilantro and everything. And I cook my veggies, so I'm going to take that out. And then they say add a little grease. I got to walk. Add a little grease to it. And then um, put your egg in there. And then you add your veggies. And then you add your rice and let it cook. So that's what I'm doing. How y'all doing out there? How y'all feeling? Are you feeling what I'm feeling? Y'all, I don't know. But to me, I was just talking to my mom, right? And it's like, people have really been acting funny lately. Uh, terrible attitudes. Everybody is so damn angry. I mean, when you look at people, people at a snap of a dime, like they want to argue. I was in the store. I've been in the store for a few days. And y'all, everywhere you look, it's like attitude. Uh, the cashiers, the people, and even when you have your regular people, like your your people, what took you so long to call me? Or why didn't you call? Or where you been? Hold up. When a person calls you or you call somebody, what do you say? Hello, how you doing today? How's everything going? Not well. This, uh, What? Uh, why you ain't called? Why you didn't do this? Hold up, baby. Slow down. Relax. It's been everybody. Uh, I had to call, and the phone's been acting up. I got AT&T. They was just talking about how they got hacked. And y'all, when I tell you, I got a bill for $270. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, wait a minute. I just paid. I just paid a hundred and what I just paid. I just paid something. It only left me left with 60 bucks to pay. Right? That's that that's what was left. Okay. So I call I get the I get the thing in the mail, the bill in the mail. And it says 270. Immediately disconnect. What the hell? So I calls. I'm like, hello? I say, and you know, it take you forever to get to a human. So finally get to talking to somebody and she helps me. I said, darling, can you please help me? I just got my bill in the mail and it says that I owe $270 and I got an immediate disconnect. And why you asking my bill is that much? It's also because my internet and everything is connected to it as well, right? So I'm like, hold on. <laughs> she was like, listen, don't worry. We're going to check it out. So she went. She said, no, ma'am. We got your payment. We got everything. Maybe the, the bill went out before it posted, but it's posted and you only owe $60. And that's due, I think, on the 15th of April. I'm like, okay, I got you. And I'm like, well, she was like, we've been having a lot of issues lately. Oh, my mom's saying the same thing. Sometimes the calls are not going through. Sometimes the text messages are not going through. And when I call my mom and I try to send her like little pretty pictures from Easter, girl, it got a one plus a parentheses 
with a two, three, one, six, seven, seven, something. I'm like, what the hell is that? And it said, your number cannot. I'm like, oh my. So she's not getting anything. And she's with AT&T too. So I don't know if everybody having them issues, but this is crazy. It's lacking. The internet is lacking. It's moving slow and everything. When I get ready to, and I just got a new computer, it's giving me hell. When I get ready to, uh, to uh, get ready to upload, the computer, the computer goes off. I got to start all over again. Y'all. When I tell you, I am not computer savvy. I know how to, the basics, but when it keep cutting off like that, it is brand new. Just took it out the box week before last. Come on now. I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on, but it's some shady stuff going on right now, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, and I'm feeling it. I'm like, what is happening right now? So this just a little quick, a little rant to chat, sitting in my kitchen, cooking my little food up, and feeling some type of way. I'm just exhausted and tired. I've cleaned my whole house. I dusted, I vacuumed, the kitchen clean. That's a wax warmer back there. And I got the table set. And I keep my table set all the time. I just change the color of the dishes. Right now, I'm going with this blue and white right now. That's what I'm feeling. I love blue. <laughs> so, I'll probably change again by the time the spring come. Find me some pretty color of spring curtains. And But everything in my kitchen, as you can see, is red and black. And, uh, red, black, and white. That's what's in my kitchen. I changed that to go with the seasons. So, we in spring right now. Getting ready to do something, but I hope you're getting up, getting out, getting into something. I hope so. As for myself, I am really feeling drained and drowsy and tired. But you also know that my lupus isn't full blown. So I'm feeling some type of way. But I love you guys. Thank y'all for watching and being patient. And if y'all going through something, just like myself, this too shall pass. Handle what you can and put the rest in the man's hands upstairs. You feel me? Stop worrying about everything because you cannot take care of everything. Take care of what you can. If you feel in some type of way, handle that feeling. Sit, sit back and, and figure out why. Um, I write all the time, so I've been writing. It's just dreary to me. My body acting up. Everything is in pain. So that's what's going on with me. And everybody got attitudes around me everywhere. But you can't do nothing about somebody else's attitude. You just can't fall into their madness. You feel me? So when they start, I'll be like, hold up. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Not today. Not today. I don't know how you feeling, but I'm feeling some type of way. And don't talk to me like that. You feel like you need to talk me back? Call me back when you feel better. If I'm at the store... And it's one of the cashiers, and they having one of them S-H-I-T days. And I can see it. I be like, hey, baby, how you doing? You having a hard day? She be like, you just don't know. I said, I'm feeling you. I say, but listen, it's, I don't know what's going on, but everybody having one of them days. I say, you got this. Just hang on in there and know that your day will be over soon. Don't lose your job. Don't lose your, don't, don't lose your life or your attitude. Got it? She was like, yes, ma'am. Thank you. And that goes for y'all, too. Hold your peace. Keep your cool. Unless it's just a moment where you just got to let them go. Then that's something different. But if you can hold your peace, get yourself together, then do so. Why have to deal with backlash later when you ain't got to do that? I love y'all. Deuces and child.